Wars on, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Ross. I like games. And today, I'm going to show you the weirdest, dumbest, craziest, however you want to phrase it, that is a Digimon that I'm going to be showing you in today's video. And no, I'm not exaggerating and I'm not clickbaiting or any of that rubbish. This is the weirdest, dumbest card we've seen so far. That title used to be held by Loosemon. The 13 cost 10,000 power level 3 that couldn't digivolve from an egg. That was a weird kind of dumb card. This, however, oh, 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 this blows that out of the water. When I call it a weird dumb card, you can, you can read that in many different ways. You can say it's over the top good. You can say it breaks the rules of the game. You can say it's not what we're used to. I don't really know the best way to phrase it. All I know is this is super gosh darned weird. We are talking about Shoutmon DX and shout out to the lovely folks nailed it over at Ensan Gaming for the translation and also to DigimonCard.dev who do awesome work as well. So Shoutmon DX then, what have we got? We got a level 6, it's a 13 cost to play normally, which is very expensive, but within the rounds of what we've seen. 12,000 power, which is powerful, but within the rounds of what we've seen. But then we get to the Digivolution cost and things get a bit weird. It can only Digivolve from red, but it's either a 4 cost or a 2 cost. And the deal is this, if you Digivolve from a level 5, it's a 4 cost, if you Digivolve from a level 6, it's a two cost. Now, I told you we were getting some weird uh, evolution cards in a video the other day. This is to what we were referring. And this is awesome. Because we finally got the answer. And it is a level six that digivolves from a level six. And you get cheaper evolution if you digivolve from level six. And more expensive if you digivolve from a level five. But it's also very expensive to play normally because it's... It's kind of like a... It, it sits in the middle of, of 6 and 7. It's a very weird card. I've already told you that. Now, you're not going to play it normally because when you Digivolve, you've got Blitz. And Blitz is that new keyword skill. What Blitz says, and we do finally have actual confirmation of what it is, when you Digivolve, you can attack even if your Digivolution passes the memory to your opponent's side and a memory gauge... So, if you've got one memory remaining and you Digivolve from a level 5, it puts your opponent to three memory remaining. And you still get to attack your opponent's Digimon, even though it's quote-unquote their turn. Now, we did actually see this skill previously on Chaosmon back in BT4. When you Digivolved, you unsuspended it and you could attack even against an unsuspended Digimon. And we had it confirmed that that worked even if it passed a memory to your opponent. So we've actually seen it in BT4, but it's now got a new keyword. It is Blitz, and it is awesome. This is going to win games. This is literally going to win games. Your opponent passes a memory to you with one remaining, and you don't have any Digimon out, and you're going to win the game, etc., whatever. Digivolve up, and then you can attack. You have one more attack than your opponent was expecting, and one more attack than your opponent was expecting can win you the game. It is awesome. But even everything I've said before, that's not what makes Joutmon so weird and dumb. What makes Joutmon so weird and dumb is the second skill. When you Digivolve, you may put a red Digimon card from your hand onto the top of this Digimon's Digivolution cards. And then for each Omega Shoutmon or Zeke Greymon in your Digivolution cards, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 power or less. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we've not seen Omega Shoutmon and we've not seen Zeke Greymon. Unless we have and I've missed them, but as you probably can tell by looking at my channel... I am really paying attention to these reveals. I'm following them pretty closely. I really feel like if they had been revealed, I would have seen them. So we don't know what they do, so we can't comment on them for the moment. These might actually make this card even better. But essentially, this lets you build up a ridiculous amount of Digivolution sources. You can play up to four Shoutmon in your deck. So in theory... You could have nine level sixes. So you've got a level six. 
And then you did your winter shout one and put another level six. There's three. And then you do that three more times to get an extra six. And there are nine level sixes in play. Nine level sixes in play. Because Shoutmon just says you may put a red Digimon card from your hand on top of the Digivolution cards. Think of how many inheritable skills you're going to have. And now we get into some really, really interesting questions. Because we can start looking at some really expensive red cards, which are basically the kind of cards we look at and just go, no. I'm not doing it. They're too expensive. I kind of like the inheritable skill, but they're not worth it. But now, all of a sudden, they are. I mean, Metal Greymon is one that I like very much indeed here. We're talking about the Secret Rare from BT1. Now, as a Digimon, it's quite fun. It's got Security Attack plus two. But when you attack, you lose five memory. It's a little bit awkward. But it's got an inheritable skill that gives you an extra 3,000 power. So rather than playing around with it, and it is, to be fair, not the cheapest Digimon out there, you just go ahead and put it down as an evolution skill when you digivolve into Shoutmon DX. And then all of a sudden, you've got this Digimon out there and you're getting the extra 3,000 power and it's not really cost you anything. And that's the kind of thing we're going for here. And make no mistake about it, we can just keep going. Any Digivolution skill here is going to all of a sudden be on the table. Digimon that you weren't thinking about playing before because the inheritable skill didn't outweigh all the negatives, now all of a sudden can. And I absolutely adore that. You really can go nuts here. You can essentially, if you can Digivolve into four Shoutmon, and bearing in mind you can, because it's a level six, a Digivolve from a level six, you can just keep Digivolving Shoutmon into Shoutmon until you run out. And it's only going to cost you two memory each time. And you get to put an extra one down at the same time. I mean, there's all kinds of questions about what you're going to be able to draw, etc. Are you going to be able to draw into enough cards? Because you're playing two cards, but you're only drawing one. So it is going to deplete your hand. But, you know, you're not actually going to have nine level sixes down, all right? It's more just you get to put extra cards down and that can give you a huge advantage. Of course, do bear in mind, if you ever do get that many cards down, your opponent can just like Gaia Force or attack or whatever. They will be hunting you down. But then we get into weird kind of things like Digiburst. Now, as it stands at the moment, we don't actually have a level 7 Digimon that's got Digiburst. They've been confined to level 6s and belows. But remember that Digiburst, you discard a certain number of your evolution sources to activate a skill. Well now, if they ever give us a level 7 with Digiburst, you can have so many more Digivolution sources than we would be expecting you to have. Now, it's not happened yet, but if we ever do get a level 7 with Digiburst that can evolve from red, things are going to get a little bit broken. But if you want a broken combo, have an Omnimon. Booster 1.0 Omnimon. You see, that's about to get a little bit dumb broken. Because you see, it's got a skill whereby when you attack once per turn, you may put a level 6 Digimon from your Digivolution sources into your hand to want to spend the Digimon. And one of the things that keeps Omnimon in check is the fact that you Digivolve up level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which means that you can essentially only ever do this once. You Digivolve into Omnimon, you attack, you lose a level 6, but you've only got one level 6 there, so you're fine. If you can play this correctly, draw right, etc., and it's probably never actually going to work, but you could potentially have nine level sixes, then Digivolve into Omnimon, and then you are attacking twice every single turn. Tell me that doesn't sound like fun, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me that doesn't sound like fun. You'd be lying. It sounds like great fun. It sounds awesome. And this is kind of where I'm going with this. On the one hand... This is just a really good card that lets you pepper Digivolution sources onto the field, or onto this Digimon specifically, so that you can have just redonkulous combos and have all these great evolution skills. 
It could break Digiburst, although we would need something that Digivolved from it that had Digiburst that we don't have at the moment. But then you get to stuff like Omnimon that can potentially, you know, you could have like two or three level sixes and then you get two or three activations of the skill that was probably only ever designed to be used once. And that's a little bit weird. This is a card you absolutely need to have your eye on. Because this strikes me as the kind of card that could come out and be actually genuinely legitimately broken. I mean, we haven't even mentioned Blitz for a little while. But Blitz is kind of amazing. And then you've got this skill which can just give you so many Digivolution sources and can break Omnimon. And can just give you whatever you want. You can just attack with Shoutmon with great evolution sources. Or go into another level 7 or whatever. It's a 5 Wossy card. It is great. Like actually full on proper job great. And I know it feels like I'm throwing out 5 Wossies like candy at the moment. But the fact of the matter is. Digimon and, and Bandai just keep giving us cards that look a little bit game breaking. And this is game breaking in the most literal sense of the word. This, in a very literal sense, breaks the rules of the game. And I love it. But I want to know how much you love it. I want to know if you think it's awesome. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Where you can support the channel. Get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always. Look after yourselves till next time would ya. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wasi Plays.